Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to sum the last X number of values in a row when some of the cells within that row contain blanks and you only want to sum up the last X number of values that are actually values and not blank. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a list of customers and 15 years worth of data. And in cell S1, I have a drop down where I can choose however many of the last X number of values I want to sum. So if I chose, for example, two, in column R, it will give me the sum of the last two values. So for customer one, that would be these two that adds up to 8,800. For customer two, that would be these two that add up to 7,200. And for customer seven, that would be these two that would add up to 10,400. And I can change that to any number between one through 15. Here are the six functions that we're going to use, if, error, sum, offset, large, if, and column. So let's take a look at the formula that gives us our results here. And this is our formula. Notice it's wrapped in an if error function so that if the result of the formula is an error, it will give the text not enough values. So for example, if I chose 14, you can see I have several customers that do not have 14 values within their row, so it generates that warning. So I'm going to change this down to 4, and let's walk through the formula here to see how it works. Well, after the if error function, next is the sum function. And the sum function, again, is just going to sum up the values that the offset large if and column functions generate. So by highlighting number one here for the sum function, and I, if I hit F9, you'll see that it wants to sum 3,000, 4,300, 42, and 4,600. Now the offset function is what's used to determine the block of numbers that we want to sum. With the offset function, you start out with a reference. In this case, my cell A2, which is where the customer's name is. How many rows down do I want to go? In this case, zero. How many columns over? That's going to be determined by the large if and column functions. How high do I want that block to be? In this case, one row high and how wide, I'm basically taking the number 16, which is the columns I have from A through P, and subtracting from it the same result I get from the large if and column functions, which says how many columns over do I want to go. So basically, once I determine how many columns over do I want to go to start, the width of that block will then be from that cell over to the last of the 16 columns that I have in my data. So let's see how this large if and column function process works. So with the large function, it's going to give me an array, and I want the k value of that, which is the x largest value in that array, in this case, the fourth largest value. So my array here is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, a negative 1, 11, a negative 1, 13, 14, and 15. So the fourth largest of that is 15, 14, 13, 11. So I want to move over 11 columns from my starting point. Well, let's see how we determine that. We determine that by the if function. So my if function says my logical test if b2 to p2 is not blank, then give me the column numbers from b2 to p2. So in that case, if I highlight that and hit F9, I get columns 2 through 16, but I get a false where we had two blanks. And if I want the fourth largest of that, that would be 16, 15, 14, 12. However, I want to go to the 12th column. If I start at column 1 and go 12 columns over, that will get me to 
column 13. So that is why I want to subtract a 1 from that. And I hit F9 and that takes me 1 through 15. And so my fourth largest is 15, 14, 13, and 11. So I want to start at cell A2 and move over 11 columns. So that'll be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And how wide do I want it to be is 16 minus 11, which is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I move over 11 columns and have it 5 columns wide, that will include the last four values of that customer that's not blank, and that will give me the result I want. Let's take a look at a different one. If I look at, for example, customer 7, if I go to the offset function and see how many columns over do I want to go, it's going to want to take me nine columns over. And then how wide is it going to be should be 16 minus the 9, so that should be 7. So if I start at cell A8, go over 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I have it 7 columns wide, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's going to include the last four values for that customer. So by using the sum, offset, large, if, and column functions, wrapping them in an if error function, I'm able to sum the last X number of values based on the value I have in cell S1 of the row for that customer. And that's how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it beneficial, please share it, like it, or give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my blog at my website, excel-bytes.com, or any of the social networks you see below. Have a great day and happy Excelling.